Here is your latest African news. Central African Republic Four French soldiers arrested in Central African Republic Four French soldiers have been arrested in Bangui amid social media claims of assassination attempts on Central African Republic President Faustin Acheng Twadara. The soldiers are members of the close protection team of General Stephen Marchiner, Chief of Staff of the UN Mission in the Central African Republic, MINUSCA. The soldiers were intercepted at Bangui Airport and were still being held by the Central African Gendarmerie, a military component charged with maintaining internal security throughout all rural districts. Their arrests come amid soaring of ties between France and its former colony, with the fallout being fueled by a growing anti-French sentiment in Central and Western Africa. Allegations of an assassination attempt on President Touadéra were rejected by both France and the UN mission. Mali Mali sues Regional Monetary Union Mali has sued West Africa's Monetary Union over sanctions imposed on the country after the military government went against a promise to hold early elections. State lawyers are seeking the lifting of the sanctions imposed on Mali, citing a debt crisis. The West African Economic and Monetary Union on 9th January told all financial institutions in its 8th nation group to suspend the country. The regional bloc ECOWAS also imposed sanctions on Mali, which include the freezing of its assets in member nations' commercial banks. Mali's military took power in 2020 and cancelled elections that were due to be held in February. Libya Libya to hold legislative elections by end of June Libya's interim Prime Minister Abdelhamid Dabiba has reaffirmed that he will only cede power to an elected government and announced a plan for legislative elections before the end of June. In the wake of an attempted ouster by parliament, already plagued by divisions between rival administrations in the East and West, Libya has found itself with two rival Prime Ministers in Tripoli after missing a crucial deadline for December elections. The parliament sitting in the East appointed former Interior Minister Fati Bachaga to replace Dabiba at the head of the the interim government on February 10. The deputies also voted for a new political roadmap calling for presidential elections within 14 months. Debiba has insisted he will only cede power to an elected government. Zimbabwe EU extends sanctions against Zimbabwe citing rights violations. The European Union has renewed its inhumane two-decade-long sanctions against Zimbabwe citing continued human rights violation and closure of the democratic space. Zimbabwe has been under EU-targeted sanctions since 2002 after the late Robert Mugabe won the presidential election. After Mr Mugabe was toppled in a military coup in 2017, his successor, President Emerson Mnangawa, pushed for normalization of ties with the bloc. But this is yet to bear fruit. The EU has claimed that the situation in Zimbabwe has not changed changed under President Mnangawa, hence the move to extend the embargo. The sanctions include an arms embargo and asset freeze against the Zimbabwe defense industries, a state-owned arms manufacturer. Zimbabwe attributes its long-running economic crisis to the sanctions by Western countries and is a punishment for Zimbabwe challenging white supremacy. Ethiopia Abiy to address parliament over Tigray conflict Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed will address the country's federal parliament on the conflict between government forces and Tigrayan rebels in the north. It will be his first address to parliament since he won a second term in office last June. Ethiopian federal forces have been fighting rebels loyal to the Tigray's People Liberation Front TPLF, since November 2020. On 20th February, Mr Abiy announced the start of electricity generation from Africa's largest dam, prompting immature reactions from Egypt and Sudan. The two downstream countries have called for a legally binding agreement to resolve a dispute with Ethiopia based on a colonial agreement. Senegal Senegal sets to inaugurate its new multi-million Olympic stadium. In February 2020, the government of Senegal commenced construction of a new 50,000 capacity Olympic stadium which is now complete and set to open this month. During the launch of the project, Senegalese President Macky Sall told the public that the stadium is destined to stage events at the upcoming Youth Olympic Games. The stadium is located in Senegal's newest city, Diamniadio, and it cost a total of $258 million. The future arenas of sport will contribute towards making this city of Diamniadio an African and a global reference point, according to the President of Senegalese National Olympic Committee. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share, and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. Great news you can now pre order our children's book, Mawa and the Gardens of Plenty, a book that teaches children the power of great ideas. This book is the best way to start exposing your children to African stories told by Africans. Find the purchase link in the description below. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member, Patreon, or donor. And remember, Africa is watching.